Okay, I want to show you how I made these little tubes. They're all out of scraps. And um, these are the earrings to the necklace. And I double silk screened them using two separate silk screens. And I don't know if you can see it in this one. I used two separate silk screens on it. It was scrap. And I used two different collars as well. This is another one. And that one has a black silk screen on it and a gold one. The gold one's hard to see. But this gives you a reptile skin sort of look to it. And that's what I did with these tubes. And how I made these tubes, actually, was with Tiny Pandora's beads and blend kit. And you get three templates in the triangles of what size beads you want. And this will determine, your flat big back side will determine what size your bead is. And you can do the roll beads, and I'll show you one in just a second. But I rolled the beads on the metal tube that comes with the kit. And that's the size they are, and I baked them on the metal tubing. Let me show you the rolled bead. Here's the rolled bead. And I put it on sideways, as you can see. I've got end caps on the end. And I hooked a little dragonfly to it. And all the rest of my beads are made with the tubes. End caps and a bead. And a little dragonfly charms on them all. And when I strung these, I put them on silver filigreed bales. And I have done a free printable PDF to go along with this video. And it has actual diagram I made to show you step by step how I made these, how I strung these tube beads. I used a really thin beading wire. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see it down here, maybe. Let's see if I can bring that up closer. And it looks like a heavy thread. Only it's actually a wire. And you cut it with wire cutters. And these are just my little flush cutters. And then... After you strung your last bead, you put a crimp bead on it. And these come in different sizes depending on what size thread or cord that you're using. And since my beading wire was really small, so is the crimp bead. But you put it on, just string it through. I see it on there. But I want to show you about this protection thing. It's a, a little horseshoe looking thing. And let me see if I can get this close enough to where you can see it. It's a little horseshoe thing, and it has little tubes on each side for your wire to go through. And when you put your wire through one side, and put your wire 
up and over it. Follow the horseshoe shape at the top. And then take your wire down the next side through the horseshoe. See it? I've got the horseshoe on there. I've got my wire ready to pull tight and it'll go right around that horseshoe shape. And then if I was going to put on a lobster clasp or a toggle clasp, that's when I would add it on is right now. When you've got your beading wire going through the crimp bead through the tube on the little protector horseshoe thing around the horseshoe circle top down the other tube that's when you put your clasp on there because what we're going to do is take the other end of this wire and put it back through your crimp bead get my crimp bead down there and we'll put this right back through the crimp bead. And now I've got both ends through the crimp bead. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to crimp my crimp bead. We'll take my crimping tool and put it in the last crimper space and push and it's going to go flat. There it is flat. Now I'm going to fold it back up on top of itself with a smaller part of the crimp bead tool and crimp it again and it folds back over itself and makes your crimp bead smaller. Now if you choose to you can take a crimp cover and I think I got all of these supplies at Amazon and I like them in these little separate things that way I don't lose them it organizes it for me itself and I'm going to take my crimp cover and this again is like a hollow open bead and slightly push it Get the crimp bead cover in your pliers side by side. Side on one side and side on another. So you can put your crimp bead in there and squeeze it slightly. Because you just want that bead to cover up your crimp bead, your cover. And it looks like a little gold bead on there. So that way nobody ever sees your crimp bead. And you've got your clasps coming out your horseshoe protector sign. And that's how you finish off a necklace. All of the um, graphics and everything to this project can be found in a printable PDF with the explanation, pictures, diagrams of how I put these together. It's very simple. You just need, you don't even have to have a charm. You could have another bead hanging off or dangling off. And the other thing was the end caps on the end 
and then I put a silver bead on. This is just a wire going through and it hooks to a bead up here. Then there's a little hoop and then that hooks to my ear wire. And then my bead at the bottom with a little hoop and then my dragonflies on the bottom.